of Bush House Nigeria. We return with 20 questions. <laughs> Many thanks to wonderful members of the 20 Questions Club. 20 Questions, as you very well know, it's a parlor game on TV, on radio, and online. On it, you have a panel. Sometimes they are free, sometimes more, sometimes they are less. But their responsibility on the show is to get at a given object within the confines of 20 questions. Such objects are known beforehand to the Mystery Voice supplies them. Members of the audience who are members of the 20 Questions Club, the applause, the, the, cheer, the cheering, the cheering that you hear, they are the owners of all of um, that. And then, of course, the chairman and my technical team. The chairman, by the way, is me. But before I get to introduce myself, let me put others first, as I always do, by introducing to you my panel, led by I.D. James. Decades and counting, I.D. James has made himself a recording decimal uh, on the program. He's the hitman and currently is the general manager of um, Unio FM 100.7. He's not here alone. He comes here with another beautiful writer, and that is Osondu Ahirika. <laughs> Osondu Ahirika, like I.D. James, an old boy of Bush House Nigeria and somebody who continues to fly a flag higher and higher out there and somebody we're very proud of. He writes like no one else does. Then of course talking about writing, I introduce to you the group managing director of Newsfront newspapers, Savior Ekbe. <laughs> I, I can con confess that it is a star studded panel today, say your equipment like uh, I.D. James, like uh, Osan Dwahirika, has been on the show, man and boy. My name is Michael Bush, I'm your chair chair. <laughs> the stage is set, Mr. Voice, who is, by the way, the outgoing fan of the month. And uh, that's um, Blessing Oliver. Mystery voice, if you are set, we all are. Your voice, next on the show. Object number one. Mystery voice. Paternity leave. Paternity leave. Panelists. Abstracts. This should be bad news, huh? Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. You're welcome. I do you the same. Mr. Chairman, the abstracts, the object is in it now. A noun. If you abstract one word, Mr. Chairman. Not one word. Is it virtuous? It should be. You know, I haven't blown any grammar since we recorded for this month, so I just want to blow one. It should be virtuous, especially if you are hedonistic. Whatever that means. Three questions. Three questions, they are lost. The grammar has blown them apart. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, three questions. Two words. Two words! <laughs> Four questions. Mr. Chairman, since you've brought hedonism into the, in, into the show, let's talk about love. Let's talk about love. Wow. Can we factor love into this? Hedonism? Yes, we can! Five questions, panelist. Mr. Chairman, is Valentine one of the words you're looking for? Aha, too early in the day. Valentine's Day is coming too soon on the show. No, sorry. Six questions, panelist. Mr. Chairman, there are so many ways of expressing love. Aha. Appreciation of hard work. Mm. Via gifts. Wow. A tour could also be factored into love. <laughs> Is price giving related to what you are looking for? Yeah, it is, but in a very distant sense, it's not. It's not something that is suggestive of it. It's not something that can help you. But perhaps is you know, love one of seven the questions. Words. Yeah? Is love one of the words? No, it's not. Eight questions. Mr. Chairman, how much does the word we're looking, the abstract we're looking for, how much does it have to do with letter writing? With letter writing. 
You remembering um, Dr. Lushigon of Asanjo? <laughs> By the way, what, what do you make of his letters? You know, oh, this one is not his letter. This one was a statement. This one was slightly different. He keeps writing them. Nine questions. The only person he has not written to is uh, himself. <laughs> <laughs> Nine questions. And then I, I see some very funny posts in social media. You know, social media can be real fun. When they say, I hope um, Basanjo never writes to me. Because the moment he writes to you, something must happen to you. <laughs> Nine questions. He has not answered my question. Oh, so the chairman wonders off topic sometimes. Yes, what was the question? How much does letter writing have to do with the world we're looking for? Well, if you had asked me how much does making public statements or making statements in the public or writing stuff in the media, trying to push your case, the answer would have answered in the affirmative. But right now, no, I'm afraid. Ten questions. The chairman, let's look at where these long related objects we are looking for could actually play out. Where, where it could play out? Yes. yes, tell me. Let's look at governance. Governance? Yes, it's the problem with governance now. <laughs> 11 cases. At the point of this recording, it's something that is a little hide and seek with governance. Eleven questions. Love for God. Love for God. This virtue you are looking for, is it playing out within governance in a Kwaibum state? Well, I, I don't hear it. You know, Kwaibum is a very expressive society. They have a governor who is not expressive, who uh, a governor, we are blessed with a governor who is not that expressive, doesn't worry about some of those things, doesn't say some of those things. But I think the people themselves are expressive. We just want to be heard all the time and all of that. But when it comes to this particular aspect or subject, we're not being really, really expressive. Or at least I've not heard. It's not out there in public. Alright, so it's not out there at all. Twelve questions. Mr. Chairman, let's look at, uh, let's look at family between parents and children. This love, can we situate this love related objects? Can we situate it within the within these two? Yes we can! <laughs> 13 questions. What do you have in mind? That's why we are asking this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, has it got anything to do with pampering? Yes, it has! <laughs> 14 questions. Mr. That's Chairman. an excellent question, yes. Who sucks when it's not pampered, or when she's not pampered, or when they are not pampered? Mr. Chairman, are you Who looking sucks? for Godfather? Godfather. Oh, the Godfather sucks. Aha. That's something very deep he has told us. 15 questions now. Go back to the family. There is, um, if you like, as I said a moment ago, um, a quiet revolution building. People are beginning to grumble. People are beginning to murmur. Oh, we want this. We also want this. Uh, if this one can have that, why can't we have this? That's it. Mr. Mr. Chambers, are you looking for gender equality? In some sense, yes! questions in some sense but you know gen gender equality has become synonymous with women people think it's women always looking for in this case is it about women on your table 16 questions mr chairman all is well we know that female children are more pampered they are by who by parents oh that's true aha Okay, I've got one. And um, is it pamper or spoiled? <laughs> 16 questions, yes. Why is it like that? And mothers also do. Mr. That Chairman, to I think their I, should, I, should, I should find out from Winnie. <laughs> 16 <laughs> questions, yes. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Male children are now becoming aggressive. Wow. So, asking for equal uh, right. treatment. Aha. What you are looking for, is it part of this agitation? Yes, it is. 
part of, and I'll help you more because I don't want, I don't want us to do darling anymore. It's about uh, male children to men. Do you understand? As more of fact, this is about adults who are male, who are men. It's about men. Do you get it? Does it have anything questions. to do with uh, the... How many questions? 17. 17. Wow. And it has something to do again with the public service, the civil service. Mr. Chairman. 17 questions. Did I make a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you want to help people and then you end up being the one that needs help. They just... Um, Mr. Chairman. Knock you away. 17 questions. Are you looking for paternity leave? <laughs> I've been looking for paternity leave. King's Kids Christian Schools is proud to partner 20 questions color game. Education is the way. 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 Education. King's Kids Christian Schools is located at plot 185 line F and plot 14J Sam Adam Street off Ben Udo Street in with housing estate Uyo Akwaibom State. King's Kids Christian Schools, education with character, a noble path to greatness. Nigerian fathers earnestly ask for paternity leave. Would they have it? All over to the government. Well, we don't want to start a debate. They got that straight at the 17th question. I would like to thank them. I'd like to also congratulate them, Mystery Boys. Quickly, quickly. Object number two. Panelists, is the cake animal? Is the animal human, Mr. Chairman? Human! I'm wondering myself. I'm wondering. Mr. Chairman, I hope you are not looking for an invisible human. Invisible human? I don't know. Perhaps it's possible. Are you looking for a group? A group! Three questions. Mr. Chairman, this group that you're looking for, is it a, is it a professional group? Not professional, but yeah. they could be professionals. But it's not here because they are a professional group. Four questions. Mr. Chairman, is it a generic group? Generic? 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 No. Four questions, five now. Five questions. Generic. Not sure. Can't be. <laughs> Five questions. Mr. Chairman, this is an object that you are looking for. Is it a male? What I smell. What I smell. Yes. Is it six a male gender based, gender based group? Well, six questions? No. No. No Six questions. Is the group unisex, Mr. Chairman? Is the group unisex? Yes, it is! Seven questions. You said they are not professional. So I think. Mr. Is Chairman. it a fan base, Mr. Chairman? Fan base. Fan base. Ah, fan base. So, are you accusing, for instance, our fans here of... <laughs> because this is a group. Mr. Chairman, is not accusing anybody. It's asking you a question. We are here to ask you questions. But I'm just helping you now. But perhaps you are throwing the hair back in, in front of me. No, I, 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 I'm hey, trying question. to say, like we have them here, this is a group. And of course, they are fans yes. of 20 questions. Mm. So, and I'm asking, is this group we are looking for a fan-based group? Perhaps. Perhaps not. 
<laughs> but to be honest, the first I'll say no. Nine questions. Eight questions, really. You know, I didn't quite make mathematics at school, eh? At college, I didn't make mathematics. Two plus two is 22. One plus one, 11. You know? So when you see me counting sometimes nine, sometimes eight, you just need to know that this guy didn't make my matters. And truly, I didn't make my matters. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, does the chairman know anything about this group we are looking for? <laughs> That's an unfair cut. <laughs> Thank you. I know nothing. <laughs> and I can swear to an oath that I know nothing. <laughs> Nine questions, panelists. I've, I've never seen one, really. I look forward to seeing one. Nine questions, panelists. Mr. Sherman, this uh, fan based uh, group that. Who said so? Said so. <laughs> this, this object you are looking for, is it a Nigerian group? No, I don't think you find them. That, 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 well, I was going to say something, something Trumpish, but no, let's not go that low. When they go low, you know, we go high. Yeah. Um, Nigerian? You never know. Mr. Never Chairman, know. why not? Ten questions. I, at some point, I, I think my first question was to ask you if it's human, and you winked. Are we looking for a door? Ah! <laughs> what is happening to the Reverend in <laughs> Yes. He's been following international news too much, eh? You know those doors that are in the news now. Again, we'd like to plead with him. Don't take us that way. Eleven questions, finally. Those doors he's talking about are out of the question. I don't see evil. I don't talk evil. Can't you understand? Eleven questions. It's not that direction. Eleven questions. It can't be that direction. Eleven questions. Yes. Are you looking for an abstract kind of human? Well. I know they exist, but I've never seen. So to me, it's abstract. But I would really love to see them. And where? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say how the how stuff is positioned, but <laughs> twelve persons. No, I don't know. Twelve persons. Mr. Chairman. Twelve persons. Are you looking for him or for that? <laughs> I've been looking for him, my friend. Hermaphrodites, Hermaphrodites, Hermaphrodites. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's what I've been looking for on the show. I just brought them to remind us that they are supposed to be a higher or lower animal with both male and female sex organ, and um, both male and female sex organs. All right, and um, or other sexual characteristics, and they can be normal or abnormal. Please put your hands together for Hermaphrodites. <laughs> Mystery boys, rather cheaply, of the 13 question, they nailed that, so I'm running back to you for object number three, the last on this edition of the show. Mystery boys. Q, no, Q, no. Panelists, vegetable mineral with strong human connection. Is it a place, Mr. Chairman? Whether it's... A place. Yes, it is! Is it a Nigerian place, Mr. Chairman? Not a Nigerian place. Can it has a Nigerian this... name, eh? but it's not a Nigerian place. Can I don't find this place in Africa. You find it in Africa. <laughs> Three questions. Mr. Chairman, let's go to South Africa, southern part of Africa. Are we going to South Africa or we're going to the southern part of Africa? South part of Africa. Let's go to the southern part of Africa. <laughs> Four questions. Let's talk about Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. You want me to follow you there? Find these objects around Zimbabwe. Around Zimbabwe. 
Yes, you can find a round Zimbabwe. Mr. Chairman. Five questions. You know what it means? Mr. If you Chairman. say, can you find this object around Nigeria? That means you can find it in Cameroon. It was, it was well. <laughs> Five questions. Mr. Chairman, let's go to South Africa. South Africa. As a country. Wow. Is this place there? Yes, the South African place. <laughs> Six questions. Mr. Chairman, are you looking for a tourism site? It should be by all ramifications. Seven questions. When you follow what has happened with that place, it, it, it's, it's more than a tourism uh, site. In fact, it should be a worship center of sorts. Seven questions, panelists. Mr. Chairman, is Ireland one of the worlds? Ireland? No. Eight questions. Are you looking for the name of Eight a city questions. in South Africa? A city? Not a city. Nine questions. A city. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Nine Mr. Questions. Chairman, the, the, the name of the place you are looking for, can we factor it between Jacob Zuma and where he's from? The name of this place has nothing to do with Jacob Zuma. Then Mr. Chairman, are you looking for Soweto? Soweto? I said it's not the name of... 11 questions. It's not the name of... No, you, you don't take that as a, as a question. Why? You say you are not looking for... Name of a city in South Africa. Are you sure that there is no non city that is called Soweto in South Africa? Mr. Chairman, are you looking for the hometown of Nelson Mandela? This is tricky. I'm looking for his hometown, but I'm not looking for his hometown. 12 questions. This is very tricky. It's very tricky because he had two hometowns. Yes, that's what I want to say. He was born somewhere in a particular. It's called Mbeso or something. He was born in Mbeso. Yeah. Are you looking for the, the name of the place he was born? I'm not looking for Mbeso. I would have given it that to you on a platter of gold. So, Mr. 13 Mr. questions. This is the place he spent his twilight years, you know, the, when he was going to leave the world. That's where he retired to. So, gentlemen, I think this, at this point we should introduce a lifeline. A lifeline? <laughs> to ask a you want to call a friend? <laughs> you can call a friend who's from South Africa. Uh, if you have any friend from South Africa, so we remember the Madiba every day, whether it's alive, whether it's dead, because people like that really don't die. Mr. Chairman, you can give it to no, us. Because we, we, we try to... No! Come to Nigeria. There's a drink in Nigeria that is so-called. The drink is actually the name of that village. Zubo. Okay, that's good. Mr. Chairman, are you looking for Zulu? 14 questions. There's a drink called Zulu. 15 Zo questions. No, we call it Zobo. Zobo. 15 questions. Is that all? 15 questions. Yes. So, there are no drinks made in Aquaibon that can have that kind of name? Aha, 15 questions. How is it that you talk to kai -kai. people who are in Aquaibon kai -kai. and suddenly their minds <laughs> and suddenly their minds go to the northern part of the country? 15 questions. Wait. Yeah, Yana. 16 questions now. There's a very, there's a very simple Simple. As a matter of fact, let me help you. You have to go to Abuja or the northern parts of the country to, to have Chairman, are you looking for? <laughs> are we looking for? Kunu. <laughs> We've been looking for Kunu. Well, I'd like to thank you. We just came, came with that name because that is where um, the late um, legendary Madiba, the late Dr. Nelson Mandela called home, Kunu. And that's where, even as a child, he still looked to the place. He was actually born in a place called Mbeza, but he, he, he preferred um, Kunu and um, actually went on to spend his twilight years, as I said earlier, there. And we came here today to celebrate him, but to take out the time and ask Nigeria, who is your Nelson Mandela? And ask Africa, who is your new Nelson Mandela?
that's it. We'd like to thank um, ID James. We'd like to thank Osondo Hirika. And of course, Savior Ekbe for their wonderful work. <laughs> On behalf of the team here in New York, Aquaibom State, this is Michael Bush wishing you very successful time out there. Looking forward to another edition of the program. Goodbye.